Sailing through uncharted waters has become routine in the Solomon Islands. Of Greed, along with nobody else to be found but locals, it is starting to feel like home. When you have people looking forward to exploring and laughing with you, put you in a special place. Like this one, in Morobo Lagoon, where even the diving of the boat would blow your mind away. Diving takes us to an explore new worlds, new creatures to discover, and unexpected visitors we might encounter. And this is our element. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. Beautiful day, absolutely flat and calm. Um, we've been here in this little bay for the last couple of days doing work days. We do have the weekend coming up and I'm thinking about moving to the outer reef out here because the, the diving right out there is supposed to be spectacular. So, But we've met some really friendly per people including um, a gentleman named Mervin which has got, a, he's building like a little eco retreat and to be honest, he's been working on it for like 30 years. Uh, people stay there from time to time, but he has a vision, and I agree with his vision, that um, eventually the Solomons would be like an ecotourism hotspot. And um, I can definitely see that happening. Right now, uh, Solomons is uh, very, yeah, it's just hard to access, but there is an airport nearby, and the more tourism that comes here, the easier and, and cheaper it will likely get. And he wants to turn that into like a little dive resort where people can go back and forth between the two. But in any case, Mervyn's Reef is right here. Let me show it to you. Big one with the hump. That's his island. So we're going to go out there and dive that. That should be a fun mission. Let's go. Ready to go check out a new spot? Yeah, I think we are going to a uh, reef. Uh, we are gonna work there, we are gonna die, we are gonna enjoy Yay. the paradise. Paradise! What are you doing? Trying to open the hatch, <laughs> but it's stuck. I think it's just these two because I shut it last night from the outside. There's directions there. Oh, there we go. Did you get it? Yeah, you got it. No, no, no. All of them are oh, open. Okay. It was this, like, look. Oh. Look, this is the, the color of the effort, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I have bad news for the door, but that hatch, even if it's closed properly, it's leaking at night. Uh, uh, yesterday there was actually raining inside of the bedroom. Ooh. So I think I don't have a new... A new job? A new do-do list for yeah. today or tomorrow. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> That's all the time. Uh, my nips. That's my nips. Put it on the nipples again? We have, we have yeah. two. What? <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be the mermaids is gonna make for he's lying all the time to us but I think it's gonna be his uh, what <laughs> yeah. do you say? The carving the mermaid the on carving the is gonna be <laughs> him. <laughs> Just looking stoic on the front. With these on your nipples. Yeah. Giant titties. We are coming up to this little uh, anchorage, if you can call it that, but it's supposed to be protected from any wind a little bit, but it's kind of like unmarked depths, unmarked bombies. It is called Lum Lumalihi Passage, and we are going to go anchor right before behind Sambulu Island. So about right now, dead ahead is where we're going. This is a big sandbar. Straight ahead. I'm getting closer, I, uh, I'm gonna see where is the best, the safest way to pass. Perfect timing. 
and here comes our rain. Having an awesome weather and the moment we decide to do this kind of a reversing adventure, we're drenched. what was going on and now yeah I stopped out for Emily checked some depths and basically by the time we got in they basically gone through without us checking and they didn't put the, the bung in the dinghy so the dinghy is full of water <laughs> was it very big chaos all the people yeah. were saying different things and we can't hear you with the motor and then it started raining and we were confused like is this the bung or is it like just the rain so yeah we made it. All is well that ends well. Let's check the depth in the dinghy. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, they're right under me! Oh! It's so cute! Long way to go! We did it! We went through. It's a it's a kind of like it's a really hassle because it's really difficult to communicate what exactly do you want to the little boat, the big boat, the one in the mast, because everybody has different perspectives. And in the thing is right quite difficult to see exactly the point that the, the rest the rest want. It's stressful. Stressful. My meter, my voice, I'm stressed. Oh man. We, uh, we cleared it by about two feet and dolphins came to join us on the other side, right? It was when we came into the passage and we're clear for a little while. We got one more little fetch to go through, but nice. pretty good. High tours, really great at directions. That's why I like having a big crew. We've got people doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Dinghies, up the mass, spotters, drones, but we're safe. Okay. We're gonna drop the anchor here. Good job. And always coming another banana boat again, maybe. Maybe to sell us more pineapples, papayas, banana. What do you need? What do you need? I have everything. Good price for you, my friend. Good price. If we trade limes right now, we have to start uh, looking for lime recipes. So. Gin and tonics. Margaritas, uh, <laughs> mojito. We have a lot of things to do with the limes, so don't worry. It's good for you. drinking margaritas. It's okay, it's healthy. it's healthy. Scuba diving is a portal into a world that humans aren't designed to be part of. It allowed us to overcome our biological shortcomings and enter an alternate reality that our species is just barely beginning to understand a tiny fraction of. You can practice it almost everywhere, and most surprisingly, the best dive spot could be just off your anchor boat.
throughout the oasis of reefs in tropical seas are expanses of sand that visually resemble terrestrial deserts. In this sand pit, you will never know what you will find right next to you. Well, clownfish are pretty common around here. In this case, we have one of the largest species, the strikingly beautiful white striped maroon, living in symbiosis with its anemone. But mantis shrimp are not that easy to find. They spend most of their life hidden in the rock crevices and burrows of the bottom of the sea. For our surprise, we found two species on this dive, the first time ever that we see the tiger mantis shrimp. have an encounter like this, you can help but feminine it as long as you can, but you don't want to get too close to them because the attack of a mantis rims happens extremely quickly, 50 times faster than the blink of an eye, with velocity of 10 meters per second, their pants has the power of a 22 caliber bullet, basically you don't want to end the dive with a broken camera. But the most intriguing fact of all is that the mantis shrimp has 16 color receptive cones, 13 more than the human eye, detecting 10 times more color than us, and probably sees more colors than any other animal on the planet. They can see in ultraviolet, infrared, and even polarized light. The sandy plains of the marine kingdom are home to many more species than one probably suspects upon first glance. Of course, there are not always lots of animals to be seen, but patience and keen eyes will pay off. For example, you are most likely to find a body team formed by a blind shrimp and gobies. The goby stands watch while a blind shrimp performs house cleaning duties in the burrow. The shrimp usually keeps at least one antenna in contact with the goby. When the goby senses danger, it retreats into its burrow and the shrimp follows quickly behind. but sometimes you get a bitter surprise at the end. Chill down today, huh? This little kina kina train. <laughs> and you're in all of it. Foot massage. Nice. Yeah, there is in the prime spot, yeah, I think. Yeah. I thought that our tour stopped, so I thought it was my turn, but no, now I, I see I, the real yeah. situation. No, I it stopped, I and to... now I asked for it again. And I always is asking. And she's not doing anything. Fina was sleeping in her box. In her food box. No way. Yeah, that's why I came. <laughs> oh I wanted God. to show, Wait, like... Waiting for... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I just made her a new mat, like a new yoga mat to yeah. for grip, and she was pretty excited about it. So she's just laying in there having a nap. It's more of a okay. If you could have like one, any item from the outside world, like to make your lazy day perfect right now, what would it be? Like a food or a special like? It's very you know? bad. I, I actually am ashamed that this is the first thing that came into my mind but the, into my mind was like if the sun would be shining a cold fresh beer oh. and I, I would love that I thought about something else you know like <laughs> that was a pretty good answer actually a fresh beer, a Belgium beer triple mm. caramelite is it a specific um, one like a specific yeah it's brand? my favorite one um, and it's called triple caramelite like I will be happy with popcorn and movie and we have both of them yeah, on board. Yeah. Like right now, I, I, that's the first thing that it came to my mind, like movie. Movie and then it was like food, it could be I love sushi. Yeah. But like with, today with popcorn and movie I will be happy. Thinking in margaritas. Who's tequila? How do we have, we need extra? 
Beep. I mean, the fridge is on. Okay. That's just... It's not a lot of ice. It's like one tray that might be made by now. But... I think I'm going to join in too. Let's get the beanbag chair and head on out. <laughs> Pissed. She thought it was half and she was already mad that it was half. Was this all New Year's? Do you think? Yeah, or before, I don't remember. But yeah, we, are, uh, we have been drinking Katsukami. You can remember don't lie. Eh? <laughs> we drank a little bit of tequila. Yeah. But yeah. We have these little egg holders that I think will make nice ice cube half spheres. The Margarita Station is in full swing. Cheers, my lady. Cheers. I told Mexico. He does really good margaritas. He always does. And taking into account that we have the basic ingredients, you only have tequila, lemon, and water from the soda stream. And that's it. Yeah. So. Our ice didn't freeze. No. The freezer wasn't cold enough. But it's pretty it's good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's cold water, so I'll take it. This one I put more tequila and Cointreau yeah. and it's very very strong but when you put lime it, it uh, removes all the strong uh, flavor of, uh, of the alcohol and it's very acid done so then you put a sugar yeah. and it's amazing, amazing Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Salt rim and everything That's yeah. professional! Peanut's jealous, she's been all squeaky. Mm, she's super squeaky, oh. super cuddly. She looks your she looks for your for your foot to lay down and she's, she's been like too cute lately. Yeah. Oh my god, Peanut. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it in front of the camera. Okay. <laughs> Peanut. <laughs> Do you want your snake bean? This, this is a this is a list for Congo. <laughs> what kind of uh, inside joke? This? What kind of vegetable is this for people that have never seen it before? This is a snake bean. Yeah. And Nerea knows how to handle one. Clearly. <laughs> and Peanut loves them. It's Peanut's favorite. So yeah. This is an especially long one. Stay, stay, Peanut. Stay, stay. Stay. <laughs> go, go, girl. Yeah. Oh my god. Go. Get that snake bean. Mm, what a lucky pig, huh? And we have this whole beautiful bay to ourselves. We're definitely, I think, the only boat in Morova Lagoon at the moment. And um, I think it's important to be appreciative of where you are in a, in a snapshot of your life and in a moment. And um, yeah, today was a good cooking day. And uh, I'm with beautiful people and a beautiful crew. And uh, yeah, we decided it was a Mexican day at some point. So, margaritas, I've had a few if you cannot tell. And uh, now we're gonna eat some delicious tacos. So. Next time in Expedition Drenched, join us while we visit Marvin's Secret Retreat and we dive its reef for the first time. 
a magnificent world with currents in which we discover the most wanted sea creature in these waters. What could it be? Can we have a happy dance? Is this Katrina? Nearly hanging. How'd you sleep? Not good, I miss my peanut. It's my first night not sipping with peanut in a very long time. Here's that your fingers. What did you do? Yeah, with peanut. <laughs> yeah. Party. We have good music. I'm gonna put a helmet just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Would be a good idea. Turn around. And then we can I can dance whatever. Yeah. Turn around so people understand. What? Drink all, all my whiskey. <laughs> oh, yeah. got the scars to prove it. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah. Either behind or on the other side. Or inside. No, I can blow. I talked about this morning. This girl just got up. She woke up like this. Hashtag woke up like this. Somebody has to drive this bus though, so I gotta get the bucket. Wait. Doing an aid over here. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Nate sent you guys on a mission, huh? Oh, wait, do it again. I'm gonna become here a very uh, tough warrior <laughs> in the Pacific. What's going on? I'm getting like bombarded by flies. Schnouting over a butt? I mean, the butts? <laughs> do, it, do it, peanut. She's like, this is pig abuse, this is private collection. No. no. She's not interested, it smells bad. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> baby. 